Hi guys, it's Evie from Bookish. It's time for another mailbox post. This week I have a lot of books to show you. Again, it's been a really great week for me book-wise. I received um, almost 20 or so books. I'm really excited to share all of them with you today. Enough blah 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 blah, let's start. Um, gonna try to get through it as soon as possible, not to bore you this time as much as I did last week. So let's start. <laughs> First book I got is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I won this one in a giveaway during Summer Loving Giveaway Hop. I've heard amazing things about it, I'm really excited for it. Every Day by David Levitin. This one I got from um, Random House US through Shelf Awareness Pro program. If you guys are not familiar with the Shelf Awareness program, you should definitely check it out. It's amazing, especially if you're a book blogger. Every day you get a newsletter in your mailbox. There are at least one or two giveaways included, as well as links where to request certain ARCs. It's very useful and I highly recommend checking it out. The next three books I got are from Atria, which is an imprint of Simon Shuster US. The Map of the Sky by Felix J. Palma, which is the sequel to The Map of Time. It's beautiful cover, I really love it. It's shiny and glossy and it's like a matte finish at the back. It has a um, 3D picture included inside and at first I was like oh that's nice but what am I gonna do with a 3D picture in a book right? I'm like I don't have 3D glasses at home and, and then next thing you know you turn the page and there you go your 3D glasses. What an awesome idea. The Fine Color of Rust by P.A. O'Reilly. This is a adult contemporary novel about friendship, motherhood, love and the importance of fi fighting for things that matter. Sounds really great and I'm excited to find out what it's all about. Collateral by Ellen Hopkins. This one comes out in November and um, it's an adult contemporary novel. Very excited for this one. I haven't read any of Ellen Hopkins novels so far but I've heard amazing things about them and some of my friends are big fans of hers and they highly recommended her books so I'm definitely looking forward to reading this one that's it for the books from Atria on Wednesday, which happened to be my birthday I received two boxes of books from Random House US that was a huge surprise for me and it definitely made my week get started on those let's start with the July ones Don't You Wish by Roxanne Sinclair People have been raving about it quite a lot and I'm very interested to find out what it's about. I honestly have no idea what the plot is about, but it looks really amazing, so yay. Here is Fire. Here is Fire has a very pretty cover. It's not a very big book. It's only about 200 pages long, so this should be a quick read. Diva, which is the third and final book in the Flapper series, if I'm correct. I haven't read the first two books in the Flapper series, but it looks good, so... Um, and it's a historical fiction, it takes place in the 20s. It looks really good, so I'll definitely be catching up on the series soon. Little Woods. And this one I have no idea what it's about either, but um, it looks really interesting. Red Heart Tattoo by Lorene McDaniel. I actually have already a copy of that, which I got from Wendy before, just before moving to Buffalo. Not sure what I'm gonna do with my extra copy yet. I'll probably give it away um, when my review goes on the blog, so be sure to check back later. Suck It Up and Die, which is the sequel to Suck It Up. This one is like a more humorous take on like a vampire story. Uh, I've read quite a lot of those humorous takes on vampire stories recently and I I pretty much love them all and I have my hopes high for this one as well. Hopefully I'll be reading it soon. Poison Tree. This one sounds actually pretty good and I'm looking forward to reading it. It's It looks like a paranormal story. It features shapeshifters and stuff like that. Um, Looking forward to reading this one. Scarlet Dead. This one looks really fun. It has some amazing graphics in there, which are pretty badass. I actually really love them. How awesome are they, really? It's about a girl that accidentally kills herself, um, as well as 
her entire family and um, she's trying to figure out her afterlife and it sounds really fun it's supposed to be very humorous and entertaining so I'm definitely going to be checking it out soon Intentions not sure what this one is about either um, the blurb doesn't really tell me much it's more like an excerpt from the book at the back so I'll be checking it out soon and letting you know how this book was Kissing Shakespeare this one sounds really awesome it's about a girl who goes back in time to meet Shakespeare and apparently they get um, romantically involved and um, there's a risk that Shakespeare <laughs> will not actually write all those awesome plays and dramas he wrote later in his life. It's sort of like a time travel slash romantic story and it sounds really adorable and cute and I cannot wait to start reading it. Touched. Touched has an awesome cover and I absolutely love it. It's uh, my kind of cover. It's beautiful. And um, it's a reality bending novel. It's about decisions and how they affect, like the ripple effect, the butterfly effect, trading one life for another, that kind of stuff. I'd imagine, I'm not exactly sure, that's what I um, got from the blurb inside. So hopefully I'm correct. Um, either way, it sounds awesome and I cannot wait to start it. Under my head. Tales from the Cauldron, Cauldron, something like that. This one features many short stories, um, witchy short stories, and I love witches, so this is definitely a treat for me. Looking forward to reading it. The Blood Keeper, which is the sequel to Blood Magic, and I haven't read Blood Magic. It's just another one of those books that I haven't read yet, but um. I already ordered my copy because I heard amazing things about it and I was like super happy to get this one. So um cannot wait to start on the series. Um, if you guys have read it, um, please let me know how you liked it. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Yeah, very excited for it. And last but definitely not least, The Stone Girl, which is I imagine a contemporary novel not quite sure if it is actually um, but it looks awesome and I, I believe I heard some really good things about it so that's it for me this week I hope you guys had an amazing week in books just like I did and enjoy all your reads and I'll see you guys next week bye